Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the Y-Build distribution and generating random numbers, okay? So use the discrete uniform distribution, the, the random uniform distribution, and we have two random numbers drawn from that distribution, 0 0.38 uh, and 0 0.655. And what we want to do is generate two observations of the Y-Build distribution with parameters B, equal to 0 0.002 and k equal to 1.1 .1. okay now just for the sake of clarity what we should do here is just check exactly what we're talking about with regard to the weibull distribution because in the standard textbooks it is denominated according to k which we have the shape parameter and a scale parameter lambda and this here is probability density function okay now we actually do have k but we don't have lambda okay so what does that mean now this is the corresponding cumulative distribution function uh, that corresponds to above which is interesting but not what we need to know right now this is the important thing here applications in medical statistics and econometrics often adopt a different parameterization the shape parameter k is the same as above but the scale parameter is b which is lambda to the power of minus k so in this case for x greater than or equal to zero the probability distribution function here is given as follows but what we're really interested in is the cumulative distribution function because this is what we use in random number generation the cumulative distribution function and that is equal to one minus the exponential of minus b x to the power of k okay so that's good. Uh, so essentially what we have to do here is essentially what we do here is we use our cumulative distribution function and it's parameterized in terms of uh, B and K. So we have one minus the exponential. I just wrote it out there just to make it a little bit clearer. One minus the exponential of minus B times X to the power of K. Okay. So if we rearrange that, again, using laws of logarithms and exponentials, what we get is minus b x to the power of k is equal to log of 1 minus u, which can be expressed as, as, as follows. So or we can re re rearrange that as follows. x is equal to log of 1 minus u divided by minus b to the power of k minus 1. Okay. Using the equation above with the inputs 0 0.238 and the parameters b equal to 0 0.02 and k equal to 1.1, we get the first one, uh, which is log of 1 minus 0 0.238 divided by minus 0 0.002 to the power of 1.1 to the power of minus 1, okay? which is 0 0.909, okay? Little bit of calculator work. And uh, what we would do is we would end up with 135.9 to the power of 0 0.909, which is 86.95, okay? And just as a sort of remark I'll make very shortly is, sorry, this is 0 0.65 here. Just doing the exact same thing again, okay? Uh, but this time we're just using 0 0.655 and uh, log of 0 0.345 divided by minus 0 0.002 to the power of all to the power of 0 0.909 work that out and we get 532.1 to the power of 0 0.909 and that works out to be 300 uh, 300.73 okay just as a quick remark i didn't really do it in this calculation here but in when you're dealing with random number generations or random number generation algorithms okay it, i didn't do it here but it is typically a, um okay to uh, supplement or replace substitute one minus u by u because they have the same distribution and so that would be a valid thing to do when you're dealing with the normal distribution or the uniform distribution i didn't do it here but just for the sake of simplicity but it is a valid step to actually replace one minus u 
by you and vice versa if it makes the algorithm a little bit simpler. Uh, what would have done here is instead of 1 minus 0 0.238, we would just had 0 0.238 and that would have made the algorithm that just one step simpler, okay? It's a very minor thing, but you know. Uh, but this is uh, valid as well. You know, it just if, as long as you explain what you're doing. All right, so I didn't do it in this case. I just left it as 1 minus u and followed the procedure accordingly. And we got 86.95 and 300.73. Okay, great.